Hi, I'm Piotr from Capter.io. Today I'll show you how to set up a CSV to BigQuery integration. First of all, log in to your Capter.io account. Then, click the Add New Importer button. Name the importer. I'll go by the name COVID Worldwide Stats. Now I need to fill out the data source parameters. From the drop down menu, select CSV. Click Continue. To be able to pull data from a publicly available CSV file, I need to provide this URL. In my case, I found it in this GitHub repository. As you can see, this open source resource publishes data in several formats. CSV is one of them. Copy and paste the URL and then click Continue. The GET request is used to retrieve information, and this is precisely what I need. For that reason, I will keep the value of the HTTP method field unchanged. The next several fields are not required for my case, so I will skip them. Here, I'm going to specify the list of column headers I want to pull to my BigQuery table. They are ISO code, continent, location, date, and total cases. The dataset is huge, so I will limit the number of columns to be imported just to these five for better readability. I will skip the next field as well and click Continue. Now it's time to set up a destination. From the drop down menu, select BigQuery as the service to import the data to. As you can see, Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel are also available as destinations. Now I will connect my BigQuery destination account. To be able to import the data to BigQuery, I select a key file in JSON format. Here is how to get it. Go to the Google Cloud Platform console. In the navigation menu on the left hand side, select I am an admin and then service accounts. Click Create Service Account at the top. Enter the service account name and then click Create and Continue. Add roles BigQuery Data Editor and BigQuery Job User. Click Continue and then Done. Click on the three dots next to your service account and choose Manage Keys. Press Add Key and select Create New Key. Choose JSON Type and press Create. The file will be saved to your computer. Now, go back to the Kepler.io configuration and select the file you just saved. Click Save and then Continue. I've just connected my BigQuery account. Now it's time to specify the data set and table where I will import my data to. To do so, open your BigQuery dashboard. Copy the name of the data set and paste it into the respective field in Kepler.io. Do the same with the table name and press Continue. This is the default settings and I'm not going to change it. So I will just click Continue. Here, I will set up a schedule for an automatic data refresh. Switch the toggle on. I want to pull the data to BigQuery on an hourly basis, every day of the week. So I'm making a small amendment to the suggested schedule, adding Saturday and Sunday. Both the time preferences and the time zone work for me, so I don't need to change anything here. The final step is to click Save and Run button. To see the imported dataset, click View Results in the top right corner. Here's the preview of the data imported from my CSV file. Set up your CSV to BigQuery integration in just 5 minutes. With no coding skills required, Kepler.io has got you covered. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials in this playlist. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support. Thanks.